For some reason, that is actually an appealing image in my mind, and I don't know what to do with that information. Like, at all. <laughs> like, at all. Brain? I think we need to have a conversation here. Not now, but definitely soon. Spyro says, I love Toys for Bob. I've been a fan of theirs since Skylander Spyro's Adventure. Well, at least somebody really, really likes their work. I myself uh, never actually played any of the Skylanders games, mainly because I have an adversity to the whole collect all these figurines shtick. Like, I know that, uh, that amiibos do that, but I don't know. The whole re thing about them being tied to the game itself makes me a bit more wary. I, and plus, there's just so many of them. Aren't there like five or six Skylanders games at this point? Like, and then like, you're only able to do certain things if you get certain figures, mainly elemental types, so you don't need that many, and I'm pretty sure they are backwards compatible, but still. I really should give them a try sometime, if only to be like, well, here's an excuse to get the Spyro and Cinder figurines. <laughs> but then there's also the whole thing of, well, I'll also have to get the little base peripherals. <laughs> ah, who knows? Maybe someday. Get out of here. Run this man in circles till he's dead. Damn. You think you can run away from me? You can't! I'm the Scramble Dead King! Get back here! You think you can run, but you can't hide! Dang it! I almost got him! Oh, you! You really can turn on a dime, can't you? Yeah! There we go. Get out of here! I just love how faithful this feels to the original game. Like, yeah, it's obviously updated and a lot of things are like, oh, so that's what that's supposed to be? But at the same time, the sound effects, the music, and the designs of like Spyro and Sparks are just so nice. Mm, I love it. It's so colorful. It plays so well. Mm, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent. Go ahead. Try it. Love the designs. And uh, Spyro says, believe it or not, you only need one figure to beat the main storyline of the entire games. That's kind of what I expected, but I was more talking about like if you want to do everything. 100% the game, you need multiple figures. Should have clarified that, I guess. Really should have clarified, but oh well. Entering the high cave. Ooh. I wonder what Spyro being carried by the fairies animation is going to look like. <laughs> no, Spyro, do not flame me. I'm your friend. No! Ah, oh, and it looks like I dropped a bunch of frames. Ah, dang it. Life. Life, why must you hate me? It was probably the internet going poof because... The internet sure does love to go poof. Oh, look at the look of this level! I just love this. This makes me feel like a kid again. Especially considering I finally finished high school, believe it or not. Yes, I may sound old. Oh, nice. While I may sound kind of old, uh, not that old. Not that old at all. Hey, get back here, sheepy! Please do something about these green druids. They insist on moving everything in sight. <laughs> well, I guess that kind of... Hmm. 
I was do- I almost did Discord and Deckard Kane as one. Well, I guess that they are kind of like Discord. <laughs> Kazarad says, which do you think is worse? Loot boxes or physical peripherals? Loot boxes. Okay, I'm gonna take a pause so I can say this. Loot boxes are so much worse. Because at least with physical peripherals, there's something that's nice and it's a collectible. And so long as it looks nice, you can put it on a shelf and look at it and be like, Hey, that looks nice. Like, with, with Skylanders and Amiibos, like... I can accept that. They don't bother me. Loot boxes are purely digital gambling. And I hate it. I hate it. They're like, they're not even like, like a lot of people are like, oh, but they're like, uh, they're like those, they're uh, Pokemon cards and uh, collectible card game things. No, they're not. Because with a collectible card thing, you get a pack of random cards. And you're like, Oh, you know what's going to be in, like, like, that is, isn't that a thing where some people have actually know, like, the, it's kind of easy to figure out which cards have a certain likelihood of appearing, like, at least at some point, with all this digital crap, you don't know, you just don't know, and I hate it, physical peripherals are fine, so long as they work and look good, loot boxes are the devil. To which I say, uh, what was it? It's like, be gone, Satan! Hello, Shamu. Sorry for it. I just had to. It's like, no, you do not get to equate Amiibos and Skylanders figures to loot boxes. Loot boxes are hell. Forever and ever. They I love the timing. The animation timing is so good. You fool. He hit the wall and went boom. Well, Hearthstone has a pity timer, and you also oh no, the drops for rarities. That's good. But at the same time, that's like a digital card pack, so it's a bit different. Like, yeah, there's always going to be, this card is rare, this card is not, and oh my god, this level is gorgeous! <laughs> but like with like, uh, skins in Overwatch. It really feels like it's random and evil. Hey, Ajax, have you met Atax? He fights aliens. I hate those bugs. When I become big and strong like you, I'll squash them all. Until then, remember that supercharge makes you invincible. Kind of a weird design, but at the same time, pretty good. Kazrat says, but yeah, big difference. Card packs are physical, so you can trade the cards of friends and uh, or sell them. Loot boxes, you're stuck with the garbage you get forever. Truth. Oh, and uh, to Sparosari, uh, and as answer, I don't really feel comfortable about giving out my uh, dress to people. Uh, it's like that little part of me that's super paranoid about people on the internet. Like, even if it's somebody that I know on some level and, like, talk to, play games with, it's like, I don't know. I'm still a tad paranoid because people on the internet can be really fucking crazy. You can know him for years and then they'll stab you in the back! Not saying that's you, just saying, I am a paranoid individual and I hate life. It's so good! Ah! Yeah. Nice. But I really like the sound effects here. Whoop! Ah, damn it. Luckily, I like what they added in the, the fairies for this level. Forever and always, grand design, dear insomniac. Ah, but that's always how I used to do it. Can I just glide? I think I can just glide. I always supercharged in there just to make sure, because I'm a paranoid individual. Sadly, no, I do not have a, a P.O. box. That's like one of those things that I might get if I ever reach a level of fame. It's like, hey, here's my P.O. box. But until then, my paranoia stays. Because I'm not sure even what goes into getting a P.O. box. And damn it, my, my, my bibbidi bob went a bobbidi boat. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that there'd probably be like some kind of fee because they're reserving a box for you. 
and I'll have to look into that potentially for the future. I'm just very paranoid. I'm 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 both paranoid and slightly lazy. Plus, it probably again probably takes money, so I don't know. It's something to look into, but it's not something I've ever had the need for, so I never looked into it before. Might look into it, who knows? I just go with the flow of things. And when it comes like, eh, continue stuff, it's like, I'm paranoid, so sorry, have to decline. I hope you understand. But I have been terrified by the internet. <laughs> Says the guy who does voices and sounds like they belong in a loony bin. Yeah, but it's on the internet, so it's not as weird. Cedric! Aren't you supposed to be a diggery in the grave? Try combining your supercharge with jumping and gliding, and really explore the high caves. Oh, dragons found. The fairies, they stalk me. But seriously, look at this! It's so good! Oh, I love it so much. It is a beautiful experience, I do say so myself. And seriously, my artistic senses are overloading! Power overwhelming. Let's see if the debris of this thing kills the dude. Yes! It did it again! It did it again! It's still here! My luck of killing that guy with debris exists forever and free! I love it! <laughs> I love it so friggin' much! It's so good! Like seriously, the first time that that happened to me and debris killed that guy, I had no idea what happened. I'm like, what the hell? I'm missing milk. <gasps> oh yes, well, spider caves. Oh, they, they were meant to be. All this time, I thought they were really weird ants, and apparently they're actually spiders. Spiders! A whole legion of spiders! I can't do the voice right. It's like, spiders! A whole legion of spiders! I don't know. I'm losing my mind here and having fun. And having a grand old time! Let's go, Billy Boom! Also, wow! That's awesome. Was that was that ever in the original? Oh, oh! Did they fix the thing? Did they fix it? Did they fix the thing? Did, did, did they fix it? The, because the, here's the thing. This is a big deal for me because I hate I hate how in the original that there's this hidden mechanic of going down two uh, supercharges gives you the super speed needed to clear some gaps and stuff. So I'm like, what the hell's going on? Why can't I do it? And then, and then, after years of playing this game, I, then I realized, oh, I need to go down two consecutive super ramps to get that speed. Does you just have to do it fast for a long enough time to be able to do it? Oh! Oh! I love, I love, I love, I'm in love with this game. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Not to mention, the supercharge is actually controllable. Hallelujah. Also, Spyro's jumping animation looks nice. Wasn't there supposed to be a... Be a... Be a fairy that I can get kisses from? Where is the sexy fairy? Also, that, uh, that lighting here. Ah! You just earned a death, Al! You bastard! You've earned your sentence, Boxer Briefs Wizard! 
Hello, sexy fairy. Give me a cuss. Oh, this is... That's beautiful. That's... Oh, the color! The color is so good! The color is so good! Yes! Yes! M. Bison! Yes! Yes! I love... I love... There needs to be so much fan art of super-powered fairy kiss Spyro. Because the colors, the frickin' colors. Oh, I love this whole game, this whole game. They've made changes that are amazing so far. The only thing that I can be blah, 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 is the gliding a bit for with some of the challenge stuff. But I love, my love for this game is becoming boundless. I'm, oh, I'm getting to the point. No, I, screw it. I'm saying it. This is better than the original. I'm sorry, Insomniac. I'm sorry, people who are inevitably gonna be like, err, the original's better. This just wins. It looks so good. It plays so good. It fixed my angry problem with the frickin' supercharge. And the only trade-off is that you die a bit more on some jumps. I can accept that. I can accept that a lot. Woo! Spyro the Dragon. This is becoming top contender for my best game of this year. And now I'm depressed again because I just realized <laughs> that inner voice inside my mind is just like... <laughs> Yeah, you still haven't finished your best games of 2017, you stupid motherfucker. They're like, oh, 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 oh. Sadness. Oh, this game, this game, this game is so good. I love it, love it. Die, wizard man! Ow. Die, wizard man! You don't even use magic, you use a stab! You suck! Okay, that was confusing me visually for a moment, but at all. Boldar. Looks so this good. This leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. This game, I love. This game, I love it so much. Because this really does show that Spyro is just a brilliant game that can work. Get out of here, Billy! Why do I keep doing that? Every single time I try that supercharged trick to get that un the, to get that super unbreakable chest, I always go into this level because I'm terrible. <laughs> 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 uh. Oh, I'm uh, I'm a fool. 